Okay. So, uh, what we are saying is that there are different types of belts, right? And uh, in these types of belts, uh, what we have is um, <clears throat> we have flat belts and round belts, which we have, which we join to make belts out of them. And these are the standard sizes available in uh, terms of the thickness. Uh, again, there is also another dimension over here, which is not mentioned in this figure, but that is B, which is the width of this uh, flat belt. And there is no upper limit for transmission of power. You can transmit power through unlimited distance, uh, theoretically, with the help of this uh, flat and round belt. Now, now we come to round uh, V-belts. Now, V-belts have a cross-section which is uh, made in, in, in this way. Okay. It is like a V. Uh, if you look at it, so it is like a V, but uh, we have taken this portion out of it. The, <clears throat> this dimension is the is B of the belt and we have another dimension which is A right and uh, with the help of this V belt we can uh, you know we make a pulley uh, in which there is a groove and uh, in that groove this uh, V belt sits in there and power is transmitted with the help of V belt now in the other two types that we discussed, um, as we said, there are joints, okay? but V-belts come pre-manufactured. Means that they are already made belts. We do not have a joint in there. The material that these V belts are made up of, it is composite. Uh, there is uh, rubber in it, uh, some some nylon wires, some metal wires that go around in these belts, and um, <clears throat> we do not join it. But they come in some specific sizes or standard sizes, and uh, we just pick a belt from these standard size or select a belt from these si standard size which are already made. For example, uh, you would have seen V belts in your washing machine and in other different machinery that come around. Uh, the center to center distance for transmission in these belts that is limited. Um, you will not, uh, you cannot transmit power through a very, very large distance and you can also not transmit power through a very, very small distance. So there is a limit for uh, for these belts to transmit power. Then the next one is timing belts. Timing belts are belts that are made like V belts, but they have teeth. If you look over here, these are the teeth of these V belts. And there is, in, in belts you can have slip. Right? Though most of the belts uh, right now, they are very efficient. The, the efficiency of these belts go beyond 97, 98 to 99%. But these timing belts, since in the grooves, the, uh, you make grooves in which these teeth go in there, and therefore there is no slip in these kinds of belts. And again, they are pre-manufactured, so no joint. And the distance fr from one point on the tooth to the consecutive corresponding point on, on, uh, on the other tooth, that is known as pitch. So you can have, you know, different standard pitches in these, in these um, beds. And again, the transmission of power is limited in these beds, uh, distance-wise. But... <clears throat> Um, so these were the, the types of belts that uh, we talked about. Now, uh, there can be different types of configurations for belts. Um, we will look at that. Uh, 
um, you can use bits in different configurations. For example, you can transmit power between two pulleys which are placed at some distance. Um, when you put a belt around this, So this is an open belt and this is non-reversing. Non-reversing means that if this pulley is rotating in this direction, this one is also rotating in this direction. <clears throat> and uh, this is just, you know, the simple uh, uh, belt configuration, uh, which is open belt, non-reversing. But if you look over here, we can also use our belt in this configuration where you can reverse the direction of rotation. So what we will do is we will put a belt around this, right, and cross that. So this is a crossed belt. Right. So now if this pulley is rotating in this direction, this one is going to rotate in the opposite direction. So this is for reversing the direction of rotation. So this is a crossed belt. You can also, you know, get the same effect by putting tensioners in there. Uh, let's say that we want to transmit power but we want the direction of this pulley to be opposite to this one uh, to the first pulley so what we will do is <clears throat> we will put another pulley over here and another pulley over here and we will you know pass our belt through these pulleys in such a way So if you look over here, if this pulley is rotating in this direction, yeah. to rotate in this direction. So <clears throat> again, this is um, open. This one is closed. This one is open, but again, the direction of rotation is different for both the pulleys. Uh, these pulleys, these are just idlers. This one and this one, they are just idlers. They do not, uh, you know, they are not transmitting. Uh, uh, power to any other place or the shaft that they are mounted on but they are just you know reversing the direction of rotation now belts are good in in other ways too they can uh, in the advantages you should also note this advantage that they can eliminate or make uh, systems simple simple they can, mm -hmm. you can uh, basically eliminate a clutch if you put one pulley over here. Right. Hello. If you put a pulley over here, and put another pulley over here, put a second pulley, which is not connected to anything, it's just mounted over here. So this is a loose pulley or a free pulley that rotates freely. 
and this one is connected to some load. Now you can put a belt over here. And the load is connected, right? But if you shift this pulley with the help of a fork, okay, this is going to be a fork like this. This uh, you can put this around the pulley, and you can move the uh, around the belt, and you can move the belt in this direction or in this direction when you move the fork. So what will happen is that you put these pulleys, these pulleys very close to each other, but there is still place. So if you move this belt to this pulley, what's going to happen is that when the machine is not, you don't want to run the machine, you can put it over here and then this is free. So it acts like a clutch. So you will eliminate a clutch and that is how it makes you know the system simple a clutch is a very uh, you know uh, <clears throat> huge part that you will put and it is basically a system that you will put that uh, is expensive um, and more complex than just shifting a bed okay. um, what we can do is we can also do variable speed by putting you know a pulley that is tapered and another pulley over here okay you can take a belt if the belt is over here you will get one kind of speed from this speed ratio if you shift this belt over here you are going to get another speed ratio so actually you are eliminating a gearbox over here um, <clears throat> you can get variable speed from this configuration you can rather make a stepped pulley for example and uh, make the opposite of that over here so I can get different speed ratios by using the same you know uh, if the belt is over here it is going to give me one speed ratio if the belt is over here it is going to give me another speed ratio if the belt is over here it's going to result in another uh, speed ratio so these are you know different configurations of belts that we we can use the since they are flexible therefore we can shift them around uh, we can also <clears throat> transmit power out of plane out of plane means let's say that we have a pulley in this plane and we have a, another pulley in this plane so we can put a belt around these two pulleys in such a way and you would have seen this in uh, especially in tractors uh, you will bring this one over here and again this on the other side so we can also transmit power out of plane any question any question sir sir cross yes sir out of plane ki samajh sir nahi aayi sir isko dobara bataye out of plane ka matlab ye hai ki ye aapke paas ek pulley is direction mein hai theek hai ji aur dusri pulley jo hai na wo is direction mein into the into the screen ye is direction mein hai so, आपने देखा होगा you would i'm very sure that you would have seen ke ye is taraf belt aise laga denge and the, the other side of the belt which it is going to go over here so this will rotate in this direction ye aise 
if this is the center okay so this is rotating in this direction while this one is rotating in this direction okay so i'm arguing about um, yes sir i have a clear picture in the book maybe now book me ah uh, this one okay this is out of plane okay see this yes sir okay i would have seen this in many applications similarly this is the one in which you will uh, not have the clutch okay you can have a loose pulley and you can get variable speeds okay ji acha and for these different uh, types of belts though i am not going to go into the details of this one specially uh, though we will derive the equations that are related to design lekin since this is just a theory of machine to yahan pe dekhe we talked about the diameters theek hai ji the the diameters of the pulleys as we we said let's say this is small d and this is capital d so we can have theta d from the geometry you can you know extend a triangle over here okay and uh, from this triangle you can calculate you know the uh, theta d and, and all these i am not going to go there if you are really interested uh, yeah you might have done these in your theory of machines okay so anyways this theta d is equal to pi minus 2 sin inverse d minus d over 2c where c is the center to center distance so this is from here to here that is your center to center distance theek hai ji um and um, <clears throat> similarly theta capital d the length of the belt can also be calculated basically the length of the uh, the, the that is c plus c plus this arc plus this arc but uh, if you simplify that that is this is going to be the length of the um belt okay and similarly if you have a cross geometry or a cross belt for those also theta and l can be calculated and used okay um let's talk about the let's talk about this uh, belt theek hai ji uh yahan pe we we were talking about this belt and let's talk about a flat belt and a round belt theek hai acha uh, one more thing you should remember that you cannot reverse the direction uh, of rotation ye do jo configurations hai na this one and this one they cannot be used for v and timing belt so you can only use them for flat and round belt you cannot use them for uh, why because dekhe yahan pe aap dekhe this is the upper side of the of the belt and when it goes down then now this is the upper side of which is which has reversed theek hai in a v belt you cannot have it because both the sides of v belts are not the same they are not similar they are not identical so you cannot do that for this for a timing or a flat belt theek hai ji now let's see <clears throat> agar hum if we if we take a belt and wrap it around two pulleys for example this one and this one right now what's going to happen is okay if i am uh, rotating in in this direction as we said we'll have a uh, tension f1 in this direction and tension f2 in in this uh, on this side 
right? And if this is the driver, this side is going to be the tight side and this, one, this side is going to be the loose side. But let's see, what if I consider, <clears throat> we know that there is going to be angle theta, which is the angle of wrap, okay? And this is the angle of wrap, which is theta. Yeah, this is theta. Okay. Now let's take a very, very small angle and see what happens uh, and uh, draw a free body diagram so that we can know okay, what are the different forces that are going to act. Okay. Let's take this very, very small angle and let's call this d theta. Okay. Uh, I exaggerate karta hu. So if I exaggerate this, uh, this is what I'm going to get. Okay. Uh, yeah. Let's see, I got, right? And what is this angle? This is D theta. D theta. Let's see. Okay. यहाँ पे जो tension है और यहाँ पे जो tension है let's say if this tension is um, F ठीक है so what will be this tension this will be F plus DF and there is different tension on both sides right <clears throat> now, again, there is some frictional force between the pulley and the belt. There is belt, right? We we do say that there is this belt over here, right? Ye to belt hai na? So <clears throat> that friction, frictional force is going to act and let's say that this is the frictional force okay now uh, what will be the frictional force equal to what will be the frictional force equal to okay if this is the if there is tension in the belt there is going to be a normal force over here normal force again right so let's call that uh, I'll draw it in another color so that we can see it. So we'll have a normal force over here and let's call that normal force, small normal force dn. So if if we have this dn and let's say that f is the coefficient of friction then what is this frictional force going to be isn't it going to be the the product of f and the normal force so it is going to be f dn huh i'm going to write that f D N right Achha. similarly okay, since the belt is rotating so there is going to be an outward force centripetal centrifugal force right so there is going to be another force there is going to be another force outwards and let's call that due to the rotation, let's call that ds, right? Achha. Now, let's see, if I want to look at these forces and analyze this, uh, what I can do is, I can say, ke mere paas jo hai, <clears throat> if I extend this, Actually, this is going to be the situation where, okay, if I draw a 
and over here to uh, do this and I can split this one into two components this component and this component and similarly this component and this component so there is an, uh, um, a vertical and horizontal component now what will this angle become the angle will see what will this angle be what is this angle this is going to be d theta is half this will be d theta by 2 and this one is also going to be d theta by 2. Okay. Are we good? Yes, sir. So now let's take the sum of these forces in here. If you want to call this x direction and this one y direction, we can take the sum of forces in x direction and we can take the sum of forces in y direction. And the sum of these forces in x and y direction should be equal to 0. Now, what are, what are the sum of forces in, uh, in x direction? And what are the sum of forces in y direction? Okay, in x direction we have this component of the force. So this component of the force, this component of the force and this frictional force. Right? So we have these three forces. And let's write them down. So, if we write them, so what will we have? Okay, we will have you uh, can also use this figure. So, what, what will we have? In here, जी कोई बता सकता है? Sir, in the sir, cause or cause or sign भी आएंगे वहाँ पे तो नहीं. Yes, and that will be what? सबसे पहले, if we are talking about the x direction, we have um, the uh, f. Yes, yes, f plus df cos of the cause, cause of d t theta by 2 minus 2 the other one is in this direction right the directions are different so then minus f cos of dn cos of d theta by 2 yes and then minus fdn fdn is equal to 0 